Today's scripture portion is taken from Romans 8 verses 25. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. What a blessing verse it is. The word hope itself speaks of a future full of goodness. But here we hope for what is unseen, the word of God lifts up to a greater level. A normal human being trusts or hope in the things which he is physically seen and he calculates or forecasts the things according to the data or the situation what he is seeing or passing by or experiencing it. But here we are called by the Lord Jesus Christ to see the unseen which is full of hope. What a joy it is. Jesus is teaching us to see beyond, to see ahead the treasures what God has in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ. And when we could trust in his words, we could wait. And what is waiting? Waiting is the time where we are prepared to receive that gift. We grow to the fullness, to the maturity. God molds us to his image. He teaches us the things we don't know. In the life of Abraham, God showed him the generations. Though he was not having a single child, his physical body was growing old and his wife Sarah physically was growing old. A challenging situation. Physically no hope, but through the word of God, full of hope, full of blessings, no barrenness, no lackness. Today also, your situation may be challenging. No hope if you see physically, no possibility, no chance. But through Jesus Christ, you have the hope. You hope and wait for the unseen, the unseen promise of God. And at this challenging situation, challenging questions which arise in your mind, you have to speak to your situation. You have to reply to your situation. You have to speak to your situation. That I see the unseen, my Lord has prepared for me. I am blessed because I wait on the Lord with the patience. And this patience will bring you endurance and you will be strengthened. And through that strength, I can overcome all the challenges what I face in my life. I am more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. So let us thank God for the precious words that we have a life full of hope. Though we could not see the things physically, but we are blessed through Jesus Christ and we are strengthened by His precious word. And today let us pray. Abba Father, in the name of Jesus, we come into your precious presence. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your precious words. Your words are living and it is full of hope. It is full of future. It is full of blessings. We see you, Lord. As the word of God says, those who do not see but trust are blessed. We see all the blessings through Christ Jesus and we receive it through faith. We are blessed. Bless us this day, Lord. And the situations what we are facing today, let every Mara turn to sweet waters. We are blessed through your precious words, Lord. Jesus be with us. Bless us. Lead us. We receive every blessings through faith. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.